I'm Ina Fried with CNET. I'm here at the D All Things Digital Conference with Catherine Rice of Qualcomm. One of the things that Qualcomm's uh, showing at the conference is the Mirrors Hall, which is kind of a hybrid of, you know, some of the things we like about e-ink and some of the things we like about traditional displays. Um, it's got kind of the battery life of uh, e-ink, but can play video and do color, some of the things that we really like about traditional screens. Yeah, you got it, exactly. So it's a bi-stable technology, which is similar to e-ink, um, but what we're showing here, which is different, is that it supports color and supports video. Um, so this is just an e-reader mock-up. And again, it's a bi-stable technology, so it's using almost zero power. Um, and as we know, displays are a huge uh, consumer of battery on devices. So if we can enable a display that doesn't have a backlight, we're going to have longer battery life, which is key. Now, Qualcomm itself isn't looking to go into the reader device thing. You guys are looking to partner with device makers that want to use this screen technology. Exactly, exactly. So, and I think what Paul said yesterday on stage is that there's most likely going to be an e-reader that has a mirror cell display at the end of this year, at the beginning of next year. Great. And so, I mean, in terms of what enables these, these are, um, instead of sort of traditional silicon chips, these are microelectronic machines or little tiny mirrors that basically turn on and off, right? That is exactly true. Um, it's, it's, it's a bi-stable technology, so they're mirrors that go up and down, um, and um, we can control uh, this kind of this distance right here, so just depending on the opening, different colors are projected back out. So that's how we create the different colors. And is sort of the idea that the cost of the screen would be similar to other screen costs? Yeah, I, I think that's probably about right. Great. Thanks, Catherine. You're very welcome. Thank you, Ina.